What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my Christ Discoveries, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash this up button to be notified for future readings. This is free general collective reading for all signs, caps, who side to everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages to resonate. Leave the rest. Free general collective reading for all signs. Uh, thanks, everybody, for all the love and support to the channel. If you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess Tarot 5. The link's in the description box below. PayPal only. No cash up, no Venmo. It's a very private, confidential way to donate if you choose to do do blah, 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 blah. donate. Um, thanks for all the recent donations, all the birthday wishes, all the birthday love, the wonderful book. I mean, it was a wonderful friggin' birthday, man. It just was, it was, it was, it was. This is Daily Tea for 7 26 of 2022. So we're going to do the damn thing. Love you guys. Um, my, the child custody battle court hearing is Thursday. Thursday at 9 a.m. Just to give everybody a heads up, okay? Thursday at 9 a.m. Keep me in your thoughts, prayers, well wishes, meditations if you choose to do so. I very much appreciate it, you guys. And thanks for all the new subscribers. I appreciate it. Um, if you think anyone else would like my channel, please feel free to share it via social media and word of mouth. I very much appreciate it. Okay, so the channel message I received was, um, people called you crazy and delusional in the past and laughed at you behind your back, but now they're not laughing anymore. That's what I heard. People called you crazy and delusional in the past. And I heard they laughed at you behind your back. So, of course, they didn't do it to your face. They did it behind your back. But I heard they're definitely not laughing anymore. So, you plug it in, how it resonates. Um, there's a reason they're not laughing anymore. Um, there's a huge reason they're not laughing anymore. I didn't hear that, but that's just my intuitive logic reasoning and take on this. There's a huge reason they're not laughing anymore. Um, I don't know. Maybe we'll find out what it is. But, um there's a big ass reason they're not laughing anymore, though. I'll tell you that. Right. For one, someone knows you were telling the truth in the past. For one, now the same crap is happening to them. The same crap. Okay. So for one of you guys, someone knows... Um, you were telling the truth now. So I guess they thought you were lying or i.e. fabricating the truth in the past or trying to scam them or what have you, what have you. But now they know you're telling the truth. And for one of these people, the same exact crap is happening to them. So whatever happened to you in the past where they called you crazy or delusional or you had lost your marbles or blase, blase, blase. The same crap's happening to them. I feel for some of these people, it could be gang stalking, bullying, targeting, harassing, that kind of thing. Um, and that's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. No one should be gang stalked, targeted, harassed, bullied, etc., etc., etc. But I feel you were in the past and somebody laughed at you, he hawed at you, thought it was funny, called you crazy, called you delusional. Oh, nobody's gang stalking you. Oh, nobody's targeting you. Blase, blase, blase. But now it's happening to them. But yet they laughed at you in the past. So you plug it in how it resonates. It's really sad and unfortunate. Uh, I feel as a collective in a world, if you see somebody being targeted, gang stalked, harassed, or bullied, you should step up and help them. But I'm not the world. I'm only one person. But I feel we can all have a voice in the world in a positive aspect. And stand up for injustices and stand up for the negativity of the world. Um, but whoever this person is, they didn't stand up for you in the past. They did not. For one, I think they straight up called you a liar. Because um, I heard they know you're telling the truth now. I think for some, they could. I think they talked behind your back and called your ass a liar. Exactly what I think. For some. For some, I feel you were gang salt, targeted, bullied, harassed. Um, etc, etc, etc in the past now the same crap's happening to them do you plug it in how it resonates, That's, it's really sad and unfortunate, it really, really, really is yeah, we have the bees energy, yeah 
they were talking smack behind your back, man. Call, I think they called you a liar. Um, I, I, I do. I think they called you a liar. They gossiped behind your back. I think for some, they defamed your character. They um, just, I think they did the most to you, of course, behind your back. I mean, maybe some did to your face, but I feel for majority of you guys, it was behind your back. That's just the way it, most people are. If they're going to talk big shit about you, they do it behind your back. I don't talk big shit about anybody. And that's just the truth. If I'm going to do it, I do it to their face. Uh, cause there's no reason for me to talk behind your back because I don't have no friends. And I like it that way. But at least you know, at least you, I can say I don't gossip. I don't defame people's characters behind their back. If I'm going to say it to them, I say it to their face. And it's not in a confrontational, aggressive way. It's just in a matter-of-fact way. Because I, there's no reason for me to talk shit behind your back. Because I don't do that. But, you know, a lot of people do. But you plug it in how it resonates. But heavy gossip energy with the bees. Heavy gossip. Heavy. Spirit messages you have for both Spider. I heard try again. I got praying minutes. Spirit messages you have for both Peacock. Someone is about to move home soon. You would have never thought to move home. About to move back in with their parents. For some, they're in their 20s. For some, they're in their 30s. For some, they're in their 40s. Okay, someone is about to move back home soon. Someone you would have never expected. Um, for some of these people, it's not you. It's somebody you're connected to. Um, somebody of your current energetic space or of your past. You plug it in how it resonates. But for um, whoever this is for, it's someone you would have never expected to move back home. I heard about to move back in with their parent. For some, it's a parent. For some, it's parents. For some, it's a parent. For some, it's parents. So for some of these people, they're about to move back in with one parent. For some, it's both parents. Um, some of their parents could have been, could be divorced or separated or what have you, what have you. For some, I feel they're married. They live together. But you plug it in how it resonates. But some of these people are in their 30s. Some they're in their 40s. Some they're in their 50s. So most of them are not spring chickens. I mean, the 20s, I still consider spring chickens. And that's just the truth. But I'm almost 40, you know. Um, the 30s and the 40s, to me, that's old. But I say that from a... 39 year old woman perspective too <laughs> so you know you plug it in how it resonates but some they're in their 20s some they're in their 30s some they're in their 40s whoever this is you're about to find out they're about to move back home and in their parent or parents home so they're about to move back home to save money is what i'm presuming they're about to live with their parent or parents i think you never thought they would move back home and live with their parent or parents. I think they're about to try to save some money or they're just in such financial dire straits that they have to. How that resonates or they feel they have to. I feel for some, and I didn't hear this, I feel for some, um, they might be in serious financial issues like, like chapter 13 bankruptcy or something like that. I mean like such horrible financial hole that they feel they can't dig themselves out unless they go save some money and live with their parent or parents is what i feel but you plug in and how it resonates see i don't have that option because my foster mother was so horrible to me in the past and we have such a toxic relationship that i would i don't care if i'm living under a damn bridge eating ramen noodles for five years and 200 million pounds i would never move back in with her that's just the truth because we have such a toxic relationship and we always have. Now, if my dad was still living, it would be a different story. But he's been passed away since I was 18 years old. So, and I'm 39. So, but you know, everybody's situation is different. I don't feel these people have toxic relationships or if they have toxic relationships, they like the toxicity together. I mean, I don't know, but they're able to communicate and obviously the parent or parents are going to be okay with them moving back home. Uh, um, how that resonates. 
But I do feel bad financial health here. There's a reason they're about to move back home. I heard you're going to be shocked. Well, there's a reason they're moving back home and it's not probably not because they want to. I, I'm serious. I feel bad financial health here. Let me pull a kipper. Okay, we have spider, peacock, and lantern. I think some treats about to come out. About to be illuminated. Let me pull a kipper. Some of you guys, the truth about to be illuminated, I think is these people about to move back home. Some they're in their 20s, some 30s, some 40s. I mean, I'm serious. For some, I feel it could be divorces, possibly, too. Some it could be divorces. Some it could be just be horrible financial health. Maybe they're gamblers. Maybe they're addicts. Maybe, um, I mean, like gambling addicts or any other kind of addiction that has just basically tanked their financial health into the ground. Or it could be, um, it could be divorces. Um, I moved back home. I was in... Um, my 20s, late 20s, when I had to move back home with my toxic mother, and I hated every damn two years of it. My toxic foster mother, I hated every two years of it. I did it strictly to go to school. And of course, she didn't pay for my school, my community college school. She didn't pay for it. But in order to save money and raise my kids in a proper manner, and she had the space to do it, uh, um, I chose to do it. And it was two years of damn misery. She was so nosy and so intrusive. Um, and I paid half a bill. Some bills, not all of them, but some of them. It, it, it was terrible. It was terrible. And as soon as I graduated um, community college, she kicked me out. I graduated in May. I was living in a rented space by July 1st. I'm serious. I graduated the end of May. Shortly after that, she kicked me out. So from the end of May of 2013, July 1st, I had a lease. And that's the truth because she kicked me out. I mean, it wasn't even a month's time or it was, it was about a month's time, but it was that quick. I had to find some place, but I'm glad I did because it was the best thing ever happened to me. I was miserable anyway. So sometimes the towers bring you positive things because I was miserable anyways. I only, it was only, I was only happy because I wasn't, um, the bills wasn't as high, even though I did pay some of them. I didn't pay the mortgage or anything, but I paid like half the utilities and things like that. That was the only thing that made me happy living there. Nobody likes to be constantly. She was like this monitoring spirit in the, th in the 3D world, in the everyday world. She wasn't even a monitoring spirit in the 5D. It was so creepy. And I'm just being for real. But hopefully, I mean, whoever these people are, maybe their parents aren't modern for, like, ADT, 3D ADT people. I mean, hopefully not. I don't know. Spirit message is you have to like False person. Got mature woman on the bottom of the deck. Number six or eight could be very significant numbers in one's life. Number six or eight, it could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to or any other significant number in one's life. Number six or eight. False person upright, mature woman upright. Then we have spider, peacock, lantern. Someone is entangled in their own web of lies. For some, they're moving home because of divorces. For some, it's their own web of lies. They portrayed they had all this money, portrayed they were doing very well financially, but they really aren't. For one, they're about to get involved with the law in a very negative sense because of money laundering. And abuse and exploitation in the past. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates, dear Lord. So for some, it's divorces. That's why they're moving back home. For some, it's um, these people in their 30s, 40s, or 50s. For some, it's divorces. For some, they're basically, we're false masking. 
to the world that they basically had all this money, had all this money, or have all this money and have all this money and have all this money, but they really don't. Um, and it sounds like they have a very unhealthy relationship with money. And they were portraying or are portraying to the world that they have all this money and have all this money. But in reality, they probably have all these expensive things, but credit card bills at the wazoo. So moving back home, I'm sure their parent or parents, or maybe some of them, won't make them pay mortgage, uh, won't make them pay half the mortgage, half the bills, half of the wazi wazi wazi, and so they'll be able to save money. Um, I'm assuming if they get off their butt and get a job. Um, but you plug it in, how it resonates. And for some, I heard they got caught in their own web of lies so bad that basically they're about to be forced to move back in with their parent or parents. Um, and I think for a lot of these people, it's over money. Um, they were trying to flex or whatever these people call it, flex or blasey, blasey, blasey out in the everyday world trying to portray like they have all this money and blasey, blasey, blasey. But web of lies are about to catch up with them. Web of lies. For some of these people, they're married people and they have children. For some of these people, they're married people and they have children. So for some of these people, they're married people. For some, they're getting divorces and that's why they're moving home. For some, they're married. And um, the it sounds like both of the married couples are about to move back home. Like the married partnership is about to move back home with somebody's parents. Parent or parents. You plug it in how it resonates. Peacock. These people are so ego-driven, so ego-driven in the past. It's about to backfire on them. Did not make good financial decisions. Okay, some of these people were so ego-driven, so ego-driven in the past. Um, the, basically, the bad financial decisions and the ego-driven based um tactics that they portrayed out to the universe it's about to backfire on them it's about to backfire on them in the form of bad financial health and the divorce maybe for some um but maybe for some they want to be divorced i mean they have to plug it in how they resonate but i feel i'm pulling this in because you guys you guys are about to see these people i don't think it's you about to move back home for some it could be um but i feel for a majority of you guys it's somebody you're about to see in your own 3d energetic space about to have to move back home uh, but they're, they're, they don't have a good relationship with money. And I don't feel they never have for some of them. Um, very boastful, very ego driven based, um, very prideful. Um, well, not so much prideful, not so much prideful, just ego, just ego and flamboyant and show off. It's not pride based. It's ego based, ego based, flamboyant, wants to show off with the, expensive things with the Maserati, with the um, blase, 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 the $50,000 engagement ring or what have you, what have you. I mean, I don't know. Hell, I have no desire to be married. So whoever this person is or people. False person. Oh, hold on. I feel like I did get lantern. A lot of truth is about to be exposed. A lot of truth. A lot of truth is about to be exposed. A lot of truth. So truth lighting the way, truth ex uh, being exposed on these people about to have to move back home, truth being exposed on these web of lies, truth being exposed on the bad financial health or divorces or 
the married couples with kid or kids, maybe for some having to move back home because of bad financial decisions here. Um, whoever they are, I mean, I mean, that's the choice they're going to make. I mean, I guess they're in such bad financial health, they can't even get public assistance. Maybe for some, they did. I mean, I don't know. Um, I'm just trying to figure out why they're choosing to move back home besides trying to get public assistance, but I don't know. I don't know. I'm not these people, but you plug it in how it resonates, but I heard a lot of truth is about to be exposed. It's about to be exposed, and um, I think it's on their bad financial health, their poor decisions, their uh, uh, pending upcoming divorces, the web of lies, there's money laundering in here, um, and I mean, most of these people are not young buck people. You're, I mean, 30s, 40, I mean, 20s, 30s, and 40s. I mean, my goodness, they're not 18 and 19. I'm just saying. But Lantern, illuminating the truth, the truth about to come out, shining truth and clarity on the situation. I mean, we've got money laundering in here, for goodness sake. I mean, that's, that's huge charges. Huge. Money laundering is huge. And that's just the damn truth. False person. Someone's about to be exposed for money laundering. Their bank is about to catch them. They will end up in jail. Whoa, someone's about to be exposed for money laundering. I heard their bank is about to catch them and they will end up in jail. So the truth is about to be exposed, illuminated, shown, truth light the way on the money laundering, the false person that had, or people or group or et cetera, et cetera, that has money laundered. I heard the, their bank is about to catch them and they will end up in jail. So the bank, I maybe this oh yes whoa i think these people are people from the bank and this well i think this people from the bank and this is the law enforcement i heard they're going to um they're going to go to jail and they should so i think it's a fem energy from the bank about to catch them these money launderers or a masculine that takes on heavy fem maybe you are the fem energy from the bank about to catch these money launderers you have to plug yourself in where you fit as always but I feel for some, you are um, the fem energy from the bank. Because I know I have some banking institution people on my channel. I know I do because I pull y'all in from time to time. Oh, I've got like 13,600 and something, something of you guys on here. So you have to plug yourself in where you fit. But I know I have some banking people on here. So I think you're a fem energy from a banking institution about to catch these assholes, money launder assholes. Um, you're either a fem energy or you are masculine and takes on heavy fem. But I feel this is you ma'am or sir the likes to be called ma'am from the banking institution it's exactly what i feel i feel you are about to because obviously this is a mature woman is not these people that's the damn truth that's these people so i think you are at the banking institution and you are about to um catch these assholes is exactly what i think um you're either a femme energy or masculine takes on heavy femme uh, you are mature. You could be 25, 35, 45, 55, 65 and be mentally mature. Mental maturity is not about um, physical age. It is about mental maturity. And you're pulling up as a mature woman. I think you're about to call the police is what I think. Official person here I think is the officer of the law is what I think here, ma'am or sir. I think you're about to call the police. Now, this can be a femme energy takes on heavy masculine or a masculine. But I feel this is officer of the law energy, police, about the money laundering. You're about to light it up, baby, with the lantern energy. You're about to illuminate the truth on this money laundering. Um, I think you work at this banking institution. It could be a credit union or a bank, however that resonates, sir or ma'am. Yeah, exposing it, lighting the truth on the false, falseness, i.e. the money laundering. It's about to make it go really fast, really fast. Know this. It's about to make it go really fast, really fast. Know this. Oh, my God. Yeah, man. Number 17, 24, 29. 
And for some of you guys that work at the banking institution, maybe you're the one that was called crazy and delusional in the past. And people aren't about to call you crazy and delusional anymore because there really is money laundering going on. And you've either exposed it in your banking institution or your credit union, or you're about to. About to light that shit up. Boom. And I'm just being for real. I do. I think some of you guys work in the banking institution and somebody called you crazy and delusional in the past. Oh, there's not any money laundering going on. There's not any money laundering going on and blah, 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 blah. But they either know the truth now or they're about to realize it. You're about to help expose it. You're about to call popos is what I think. Good for you. Good for you because some people don't stand up like that in workplace situations. And you should. Okay, so I think you might get rewarded or you might get a gift or you just might get universally rewarded with the gift energy for uh, exposing the money laundering. Banking institution out person I'm feeling. Or if you're not the banking institution person and you are someone that was called crazy and delusional in the past, I just think you're about to get some kind of rewarded or some kind of gift of some shape, form, or fashion because everybody knows you you have spoke the truth or you are speaking the truth or they're about to realize it um, because the truth has been exposed or it's about to be. This is the money launderers about to go to jail. Money launderer or launderers. Thief with the imprisonment. And it's about to open your pathway. Yeah, man. Wow, this is awesome. All right, let me see if I hear anything else. This is about to start happening fast, 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 fast. This is about to start happening fast, 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 fast is what I heard. So eight of ones with five, five, five energy. It's about to start happening fast. So yeah, I, you're very integral in this banking person, person at the banking institution, whether it's credit union or bank, you're about to be very integral in this. I think you're about to contact the, the police. Woo, 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 woo. That's exactly what I think, sir, ma'am. I don't blame you. I don't blame you. Definite, I mean, it's all over the place in the cards and the messages in here. Definite money laundering, imprisonment with the thief. I mean, Lord, I think they called you crazy and delusional in the past. Or they called somebody else crazy and delusional that the person that's being money laundered from or being set up for the money laundering or something like that. Um, or maybe both of you guys. But how that resonates, you're about to expose it. You work at some kind of Credit union or banking institution is what I'm feeling. You plug it in, how it resonates. And for other of you guys, I just think you were called crazy and delusional in the past, but you're about to see all these folks about to move back home because they've got in such financial hardships, but yet they were going around town or the city or what have you, what have you, gloating and wearing all these nice, fancy, rich things and driving all these nice, fancy cars and have all these big, expensive homes. But in reality, behind the scenes, they can't afford them. So they're about to move back home. I think for some, you're about to see items get repoed. You're about to see items get repoed. Um, people start going to, chapter thir uh, going to chapter 13 bankruptcy and things like that. I mean, you plug it in how it resonates. Okay, well, I'm getting out of this. I love you guys so much. Everybody have a wonderful day and namaste.